I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these Norns? Not personally. Fair's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. He wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Fair, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember... Nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Brother, seems the wolves have led us here. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. You were just beginning to tell us the story of Fimsur, the stonemason's son, and the wager Odin involved you in. Yes. All right. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half- before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. Brother, seems the wolves have led us here. <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what, exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Creamsewer! He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father. And he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better than continued. Oh. What is that? This is the place. <laughs> we need to work our way up. This way. <laughs> 